Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about the sum product function in Excel and its application like how to relate with Boolean logical function. The sum product function is literally composed of two single words. Sum stands for total and product means multiplication. The sum product function works with arrays, but it doesn't require the normal array syntax like control plus shift plus enter to enter. Therefore, the most basic purpose of this function is to multiply two corresponding fields and then add the product to obtain the total. One of the most common examples is the calculation of the total amount of items. If I want to know how much money all the products have sold in total, generally, we will create a third field to multiply the quantity by the unit price and then adding them to get the total sales amount. But, if we use the sum product function, we only need to enter the name of the function and then select the two fields of quantity and unit price in order. Some product can immediately calculate the sum results after multiplying two fields. Calculation of grade is another common application of some product. For example, different KPI have their own weighted multiples. When weighing is performed, we can also use the sum product function to multiply the score and weight and then press enter key to find the total weighted KPI score. If we want to calculate the weighted average, we only need to divide the total score by the sum of the multiples of the weight and it will be returned the results what we are looking for. The following table is also a very suitable example for using some product. If I need to calculate the total amount spent on stationery for each department, I only need to enter the function name of some product in the corresponding cell and then select the unit price of the stationery in order and the order quantity placed from the HR and admin department. As for the unit price row, it should not change its reference when we copy the formula in the next department, so press F4 on the keyboard to lock the unit price column, so that we can easily calculate the amount to be paid for each department. After a few simple applications of some product, we may wonder why some product and Boolean logic will it be related. It must be mentioned that there is another feature in the use of Boolean logic when we use it to perform calculations. True and false represent the number 1 and 0 respectively. We can use the formula to do a simple verification. For example, if I multiply true by 1, then the result of the calculation will still be equal to 1. Relatively, if false is multiplied by 1, the result of 0 multiplied by 1 will still be 0. Ok, then how to apply the concept of true equal to 1 and false equal to 0 in the formula? Let us look at this example of insurance payment scheme. Suppose if I want to check how many members have paid the annual fee. If there are few members in total, then we can enter the sum product function and then request to determine whether column C in the table is equal to yes. The result will be a row of true and false. In order to convert these true and false into 1 and 0, then it can be used for calculation. So we can multiply this argument by 1 in the formula or, in the other way we can add 2 minus sign before the parentheses. Then press the enter key so that some product will add these true and false to calculate the number of members who have paid the annual fee. Ok, if we want further to inquire about those who have paid the annual fee and lives in the eastern region. How to set the formula if there are several members in total. This time I write the query conditions in the field below. And enter the function sum product to determine whether the annual fee column is yes. And then enter a multiplication sign and request sum product to determine whether the members from eastern region. The formula has returned value too, based on the concept of Boolean logic. Excel will return the fields of paid annual fee and eastern district as true. The rest of the fields will generate false because between the two conditions we inquired. Enter a multiplication sign between the arguments. So when multiplying, only true is multiplied by true. That is, when both conditions are met, it will be equal to 1. The remaining fields with false will only get 0 after multiplying and will not be included in the count. 
Therefore, some product added these results, and we know how many people met the requirements of payable annual fee, and lives in the eastern region. Finally, if we continue to expand the problem that, members those who have paid annual fee, and living in the eastern region. Then how much they have to pay is the total amount to the insurance company. This time, we need only to multiply the, total amount, field at the end of this formula. The formula has returned the total amount through the same principle of true and false. So only those who have paid annual fee and live in the eastern region will show the consumed amount. The remaining member's amount will be set to zero. Finally, through the sum product function, can be added the total amount of these members. Also, we can also change the filtering conditions at any time. So, the sum product will also update the calculated results immediately based on the data we input. So I hope this lesson was useful for you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments on this lesson, please mention in the comments section, and make sure to like the video, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more future videos. Have a nice day.